Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. I'm feeling better. Um, I'm not 100% better, but I'm feeling pretty doggone good compared to what I was feeling like yesterday. Uh, pretty much just got a full night's rest. You sleep a long time, man, you feel a lot better, especially because this last week I didn't get a whole lot of, of rest. Um, what we're going to be doing today is just opening the mail and finishing up the mail, so if you're not interested in mail, what's wrong with you? Or, mail is really awesome, but you could feel free to skip ahead. Um, we're going to be starting with um, Corey from Chaping, South Carolina, who has mailed us several times before. And it looks very official. It's the most official looking leather I think I've ever seen. From Chapin High School, it's actually a leatherhead. And it says, Dear Stephen, I am writing this letter for my computer class at school where we were asked to write a letter to the celebrity of our choice. You were the first person that came to mind. I really enjoy watching your videos, both on Steven Vlog and Steven Plays. I am really enjoying your series on Shadow of the Colossus. It is an amazing game so far, and I am looking forward to watching you play through the rest of the game. Since this is computer class, IBA, we are supposed to ask you how technology is used in your job. I know this will be easy for you to answer, but how is technology used in your job? I guess you could also ask Mallory the same question, too, if you have the time. Thanks for taking the time to read this. I hope to hear back from you. Sincerely, Corey. Well, my job is pretty much 100% technology. Uh, my two main jobs are doing vlogs and let's plays. Vlogs require me to carry a camera around and film everything I do, which is technology. Uh, then I plug it up to a computer and edit it and then put it on the internet. So I'm using all, all types of different technologies to do that. With let's playing, uh, I don't have a camera, but I have capture devices, so I'm either capturing from a console, or if I'm playing on the computer, I'm using screen capturing software, so um, there's always some sort of hardware or software that goes into making all the content. The only thing that's not technology is my voice, or me. Um, me appearing on the vlog, the stuff you actually see, is not the technology, but pretty much every single aspect, every other aspect is. Um, Mal, is there anything any technology related stuff that you do for your job? I use a Java based gradebook to um, record my students grades and I taught one of my fifth grade classes MS Paint because I had to teach them a technology related to art lesson. So you taught them paint? Yes. Interesting. Anyway Corey it was nice to hear from you again and I hope this helps you with your class and if your class is watching this, hi everyone hope you're doing well watch my channel. The next letter is from Casper Wyoming this one's really thick, like, I know leathers, I get leathers, and they are rarely this thick. This is a thick leather. Like, if this were a sandwich, you wouldn't even need fries. Dear Stephen and Mallory, provided she reads this, and I also hope I spelled her name right. You did. Please excuse the length of this letter, as I have never written a letter to you before, and due to the nature of the vlog, I have a lot of things to say. Feel free to not read this on the vlog due to its length. I would not be offended. Okay, first things first. In November 2011, I started watching your vlog, sent there from your Let's Playing channel. I remember the date because your vlog starts in almost Thanksgiving, and I was watching this before Thanksgiving started. I continued from day zero, not watching the recent ones because of spoilers. I'm sending this now because I was waiting till I finished watching the vlog to send the letter. The first thing I want to talk about is how you've inspired me. In case you were wondering why, I spent a lot of time in my life thinking about how dull my future will be as there was no career option that I enjoyed. However, I then watched your Let's Play Earthbound, and with your first video, I was inspired. As such, starting in two years, I will start working on my animation degree. You have basically become my idol by doing what you enjoy and being awesome. I wish I could help your life and make your life better just as you have done to me. Impacting my life and honestly giving me a purpose and ideals for what I want to do, cementing in my head that I can have fun and earn money that way. The second thing I wish to talk about is the content you put out. Because of you, I bought a magic deck, though I don't know anyone who plays, so I tend to stick to Yu-Gi-Oh!, but I now know how to play and have the cards, although scattered, and I do enjoy playing the one time I was able to. Your Let's Plays have inspired me to try and start my own, though every time I would try to record them I would fail and it would refuse to work. I also obtained a video camera and started to record my life, not putting too many on the internet, though recording a lot. I really should post more of what I record. But every day I look forward to watching your Let's Play for the day, and since I wasn't caught up, the idea of a daily vlog was a bad idea. But still, videos from you are a huge part of my day. A third thing to bring up with you is, well, just how happy you've made me. I'm aware that makes it sound like I'm dating you, but a better way to phrase it is hard to come up with while still keeping the meaning. Basically, to explain the slightly creepy comment at the beginning of that, I'm going to start describing this. The thing is, I occasionally suffer from bouts of depression, usually lasting from six hours and popping up whenever it feels like it. 
The interesting thing is lately, whenever I've suffered from such problems, watching your videos has removed such feelings from me and brightened me to the cheery person I am when not suffering from depression. You have completely and utterly squashed any sadness I have when I watch your videos, and it's done the same for my friends, whether it's a dyslexic cart bear or scariest moment of my life. The final thing I'm going to talk about as a form of leather is, well, to be honest, just about how much I wish to thank you for sharing your life with me and the rest of the Steven Vlog fans. I hope you continue to share your life with us and to all of those who enjoy watching this. I guarantee you have changed my life for the better, getting me to pursue my dreams. I thank you for working on showing us your life, playing games to give us fun little things, and showing your taste. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me find out who I am and putting me on the right path. I'm aware that I said final, but that was the final one talking to you in a more formal setting. This section specifically talks about the numerous drawings I sent. The first drawing in question describes itself as my impression of wide shoes and a drawing of Dan done quickly. No serious explanation needed. The second one is a bearded Pikachu. If you don't remember bearded Pikachu, Stephen, I apologize and he probably seems weird. Actually, right now, I feel like a bearded Pikachu. The other thing on that page is a Taco Bell taco combined with a bird Alex shouted about randomly in one of the videos. I feel mentioning Taco Bell is nothing bad, as it could only lead to you teleporting to Taco Bell with Dan, Alex, Taylor, and Nick. The third picture is Mr. Dyslexic Heart Bear as a Pokemon, evolving at level 36, along with some cool text on it. The third picture is Huppa the Yugen versus Argyling. Because you've been ignoring Huppa the Yugen in favor of just saying Argyle, which I prefer Huppa the Yugen. Uh, actually, fun fact, Huppa the Yugen is my way of saying um, Hadouken, the H-A-D-O-U-K-E-N from Ryu in Street Fighter. Hadouken! Yeah, well, one of my friends always thought he was saying Huppa the Yugen. So he would, he would say Huppa the Yugen, and I picked that up. So Huppa the Yugen. Anyway. The next is a picture of you wielding fire, an eye that is your vlog camera, and you ready to own. I originally was going to write flaming, but the flaming cyborg vlogger just kind of sounds bad. Finally, as I could not think of enough to say to Mallory, I have the leftover part of the leather to talk to her. The reason I went with the devious title was whenever I've seen you, you seem to be playing a trick on Steven or just loving on him. Another title I consider just the competent sidekick, as you have an interesting habit of doing better than me. That's true. With this, I end the leather, and I hope to see you talk about this leather or its picture content. With respect, Keith Bow, or Loken489 on YouTube. That was quite a leather, Keith. Uh, let's start looking at these, oh my god, amazing, amazing drawings. So this is Dan in two minutes, and he actually lists the, um, the time and, and what vlog this was. So at 5.03 on vlog 449, this is the face that Dan makes. And uh, here is his interpretation of why Jews. Here is a taco bird. It's literally a taco with bird wings. And then there is the bearded Pikachu. Mr. Dyslexic Heart Bear, who is very evil. He's out for blood. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And then he was originally just the heart dog, but at level 36, now he's crazy. And then we have me using Huppa the Yugen on Argyle, who is trying to Argyle me. And then here is me with some kind of burning power, and also I'm a cyborg. And this thing actually reminds me of one of the old nerf things. You guys are probably going to not follow me at all, but there was this old nerf thing. It was like this vest, and it had this little thing that came out, and you could see behind you, and you could hit, hit a button, and it would shoot behind you out of your headpiece. I really liked Nerf as a kid, but anyway. And last but not least, we have Mallory, the devious educational master. I tricked you. And you've got, like, a, the portal gun, and it looks like grenades. Man, you're packing heat. <laughs> Which is funny, because you, you would kill... Oh, wait, they're no. Potions. They're potions. I was about to say, no, they're potions. It, I think it's funny. If we play a game that has grenades, you'll kill me with it. Oh, piss. Gears of War. Yeah, I'm screwed. Anyway, Keith, it was a very long letter, but we like long letters, and I appreciate all of the art. The next letter is from Ethan in Meridian, Idaho. Dear Stephen and Mallory, I hope Sonic Generations goes well with you two. And happy birthday, you two. And Mallory, if you flip this page, you'll see a Minecraft picture. I also gave you six Zelda cards. Sorry they're not magic cards. I hope you use the cards for something and you like the picture. Your viewer, Ethan. I actually did not know that Twilight Princess trading cards even existed. Uh, like, what? where did these come from? We have uh, Dark Lord Ganondorf. We have uh, Russell. Is that Russell? Um, the Master Sword, Skull Kid, uh, Koro, and Hina. I'll be honest, I really don't know who many of these people are because I have not played very much Twilight Princess. The last two are siblings. She's in charge of the fishing area, and he lives outside of where Link lives. Farron Woods? Yeah, that's... It's written on the back. There's also a recipe here for Kansas City barbecue ribs. I just felt that that's the way I should say that. And last but certainly not least, a picture of me and you playing Minecraft with Sammy. It's Aww. it's unfortunate. Sammy was dead before you were around, and so was Sammy too, and Sammy three. 
But in an ideal situation, we would all live together as a big, happy, blocky family. Ethan, thank you so much for the leather and the cards. Also, um, if Ethan or if anyone knows where exactly the Twilight Princess cards are from, because I've never seen these before. That's really interesting to me. I didn't know that there were such things as Zelda trading cards. Anyway, let me know. And Ethan, thank you again for the leather. We're going to move on to the last leather. The last leather today is requested private. Um, actually, we get those from time to time. It's very, it's pretty rare. Um, but occasionally we get leathers that they request them to be private. So privatized. And we're done. We're done. Uh, I am feeling better. I hope tomorrow I feel even better. Um, but today's been a good day. It's been good. Feeling better. Finished up Sonic Generations. Uh, tomorrow we're going to start recording Minecraft. I'm excited. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? If you want to send a letter, channel page, top right corner, go for it.